Welcome to Apple EDC. Well, new with iOS 26 is a shortcut action called Use Mode. And this is really cool because it allows us to invoke ChatGPT directly from a shortcut without first having to have the ChatGPT app running, or for that matter, even installed. Now, it doesn't work on anything older than iOS 26. So if you haven't yet upgraded, please do that before trying to use this shortcut. Now to make this work, of course, you have to have shortcuts installed on your device. And most devices have it by default. If you're not sure, just search with Spotlight Search for shortcuts and it should pop right up. Now, another thing you have to do to make sure that it runs smoothly is go into your setting under Apple Intelligence in Siri and enable the chat GPT extension. And when you do that, you'll see some disclaimers and they're very important to read through, particularly about the accuracy of chat GPT. The bottom line is that if you're not absolutely sure about the answer, you may want to ask in a different way or check it out through other means. Okay, let's see how this works. Hey Siri, chat note. I'm a wildlife photographer and I'm headed to Winter Garden, Florida early tomorrow morning to try and do some bird photography. I'd like a detailed weather forecast, including temperature, dew point, sunrise, wind direction, and wind speed. So it's thinking about it here. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but there you go. We have a note called chat note with the date and the time, little dashes there, the question, which I won't read, and then the answer that ChatGPT provided. For your bird photography session in Winter Garden on Monday, expect a morning temperature around 69 degrees with a dew point of approximately 65 degrees, leading to moderate humidity levels. Sunrise is at 7, 10 a.m. and winds will be light and variable around six miles per hour with a low chance of precipitation. Please check the latest updates before your session as weather conditions can change. So we'll just click back. And as you can see, it's just a note. Now, if you think this could be helpful for you, please check the link in the description. Not only do I have ways that you can help support this channel in that description, but I also have a link to this shortcut. And right now I'll show you how to download that link and set it up on your device. So I'll just tap on that. That will be the link that's in the description. Now it opens up this screen and it shows the name of it and wants to know if I want to add it. And notice it shows me that I can run it from Siri. So we'll add the shortcut. I already have that shortcut, but we'll keep both so I can show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay, it's downloaded it and it's put it into my shortcuts library. Now, if you don't see this screen, your phone may have switched to the gallery view. So make sure if you see the gallery that you switch back to library and then there's the shortcut. Now you could just run it, but if you want to customize it, maybe you want to change the name. Maybe you want to put it in a different folder. Maybe you want to add a different tag, all of those things. Just click on the three dots and that opens up the shortcut and allows you to edit it. If you want to add it to your home screen, come up here. And by the way, this is where you would name it, that little bitty arrow right at the top. And you could also choose an icon. You can duplicate it in case you want to try something, but you don't want to mess this one up. Move it to another shortcut folder, etc. And last but not least, add to home screen. So let's go ahead and add it to our home screen by tapping here. But let's use an image in this case. I'm going to choose the file and I made a little chat note icon. That's the one I want to use. And then I can name it by tapping there, but I don't want it to have a name. There we go. Add. Okay. And I already had one and there's the new one right there. Okay. I hope this one helps. Don't forget that there's a link in the description if you want to download this one and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I can use this emergency only number right from my note and call that number. I can also have his business card. I can even have the map link to his office attached right there.